Hey guys, I'm really excited to make this video for you guys today because as you can tell, I'm going to be making a Bloxburg town. Now, with that being said, this isn't just going to be a usual video where like, I mean, this doesn't really make sense. I'm making a Bloxburg town, so what? Well, I'm going to be doing it so I can start a new series, which I'm going to be doing a few like a little transition, not staying forever in Bloxburg. You guys know me. I always love trying out new games. It's kind of what I do here and I like doing things like grinding for things on the channel, but I really kind of want to get started with doing that. But I do, you know, want to be able to do a little switch up. So you see, this is my town. I've got the full town here already. Now you may be like, okay, well, what's the point of the video then? Just get started with filming. Well, that's true. I do have this town here and you're like, mm -hmm. but obviously you can kind of tell in all of these buildings, there isn't anything inside. Now, the reason I did that was intentional because obviously that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos of me decorating the inside because everyone can do a speed build and obviously that's fine. But the decorating part of things in towns is a lot more difficult and so I kind of thought as well it would speed things up as well as also get a vision of what I want to see. Now obviously I'll probably change things along the way, there might be things that I just don't think are that realistic, but I kind of want to be able to just really make this into a cutesy realistic town um, and it is going to be a town, it's not a city um, and obviously I'm British so this is kind of difficult but seeing the way Broloxburg towns have been before, I think this is actually really really cool. So the entrance of the town, there is this, it is these houses, and I was really going to probably leave the space free, but I thought, you know what, it's a town, it's kind of got to have houses maybe, and I think this is really, really cool, it gives a lot of space, it also, you know, obviously I know it's really like, this is so clearly me trying to create some sort of thing, but obviously once I do the decorating inside, things will really change. But I think this does look pretty realistic enough to the point that like you can tell it's not meant to be like it's a tiny pathway. It's on right next to a road. This is exactly what normally happens. But I think this is really, really cool. Um, Obviously, all have got different styles. Again, I don't want to like go too crazy on the outside right now because I have only got to think about like you know, I've got to think about actually decorating the inside and how much of that is going to take up and how much it's lagging. So I really don't want the town to lag. Then we've also got the Bellevue Bookstore, which actually I forgot to tell you that is the name of the entire town, Bellevue. And then the next one is Diamond Heart Salon. So Diamond Heart is actually a really, really nice like hair and nail thing. So we've got some prices going on up here. This is very, very helpful. Um, this was actually just um, something on there. And I think it's kind of what you see in salons and stuff. And then this. I made all my decals on Canva, if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, and then same thing with the logo. I think this looks really, really cool realistically. And then the next thing is actually this. This is an apartment complex and it's a really big, part of the town because obviously apartments are quite large and I actually quite like it so far but obviously it's just the outside and there's not really too much I can do again I'm just gonna have to wait and see and then we've got this kind of beautiful like you know lake situation going on this lake honestly I was gonna make a whole lake run through the town but I think this looks really cool the way the lights hitting through the trees and stuff looks a beautiful love that um and I finally got to level eight so I could actually have these beautiful cherry blossom trees which definitely look more realistic but yeah this is really really fancy in my opinion there isn't anything going on over here because normally like it's right next to the apartments I didn't want something to be overlooking like the balconies so this is just that but I might I've left some space so it might turn into a park of some sort then we've got Rimberio Cafe and this is a really cutesy cafe the normal kind of type that people post on Instagram about I think this is really cute again I made both decals I think it really matches the vibe I saw this and this was actually the first build I made it looks really cute in my opinion the next thing is Easy Mart. Now, this is going to be a tiny little corner shop, obviously, and this is actually where I made my own, like, you know, build things, where I actually did some more, like, custom-made things, and I really like it. I didn't know how to go about, like, what to add. Um, I did make this, though, and I think it looks really, really cool. It definitely reminds me of a little corner shop, and then there will be a house above it, which is really, really cool. The next shop is actually called Bellevue Electronics. I know it's not original, but I could not think of anything. Um, and it is obviously an electronic store and it looks so bare right now, I know, but on the inside, electronic stores are really more about like literally what's inside. Um, they're very like just glass and very modern kind of thing. So I just went with signs and I just had to really think about it. 
And the next one is The Coffee House. And this is another neighboring coffee shop. And I did make this myself as well. I think this looks really cute and sums up exactly what the kind of vibes I want for the shop. And then just opposite of those, we've got Bellevue Bistro, which is this beautiful restaurant that I'm going to have created very like, it's the only restaurant in town, but it's very modern. It's very like, just beautiful and natural like kind of stuff it's very like kind of fine dining but it's also like a casual fine dining it's not where you necessarily have to wear a tux and a glamorous dress and then we've got closet collection this is a tiny little like corner shop again but it's going to be of clothing and I was going to make this a complete beauty store but then I obviously came up with the idea for the salon I think this is really really cool um again I found this on Canva I didn't create this one but it does look really nice and I just really wanted a very simple vibe for this one nothing too fancy because clothing stores don't really have a lot of craziness to them but this is called Keithston's karaoke and bar and this is really really like a fancy kind of thing there is a house above it which kind of makes you laugh but it's because the person who lives there actually owns this place um and it's also kind of like a bar but it's called like the Cadillac Club I think and I made these decals I really loved this I think this was exactly what I was going for when I saw it and I love it all the lights as well it looks really really cool a lot and then moving along next to it we've got the Durama noodles and this was kind of inspired because it's like a Japanese like noodle thingy I found that on Canva this was already created I just changed the name but then again it's very like you know cutesy but calm it's a little noodle shop I think it's really really like good this is very very cute and definitely what I was going for again but nonetheless, I hope you guys think this town is pretty cool um, because along with that, all of these like things are built because when I was doing them, I was thinking of obviously the role play series I'm going to be doing, um, but that is also going to have like some characters. And so we've got people, all of these characters are really, really cool because they're going to be big parts of the story. Not every shop has or like every part of the house. Like I haven't done a character for absolutely everything, but they are like, you know, familiar faces you're probably going to see alongside. And it's just a really interesting kind of thing to add because then it builds that familiar like that word um like it gives you that like nice feeling of when you're in a town and like that close kind of town thing but in a normal way not in the way they do it in like Christmas Hallmark movies that it's kind of weird and creepy and annoying but um I think this is just really a good start obviously I'm not really a builder I know it's not the best but I think you can get the vision of what I'm going for but I will be starting to do a bunch of videos where I'm going to be filming myself like you know build it like decorating the inside and then obviously I will tell you guys a little bit more about each character as I go throughout the series but then I'll actually start my real blogs by series which is of the actual acting which I'm really excited to get started on that too um, but anyways guys thank you all so so much for watching the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.